fully goal. entrenched in uh, politics. Trey, are you there? I am here. All right, let's talk about uh, Donald Trump. But in terms of these elections today, I am kind of surprised that Ed Gillespie is doing as well as he is in the polls in Virginia. Democrats, while they're complaining a whole lot, don't seem to be all that motivated. Uh, you're exactly right, McGraw. I mean, the and I'm seeing the same thing. I mean, I, first of all, I think we're in very uncharted territory in a state like Virginia because of the current political dynamics, and particularly because of the nature of this president and the and, and the unique dynamics surrounding this president. I don't, uh, you know, you've got someone in Ed Gillespie who um, is depending on what pocket of voters he's speaking to in Virginia, he's a Trump guy or not a Trump guy. And, and it's understandable because um, there are some very rural areas of Virginia that love Trump, but then there's areas that, frankly, uh, you, you have to win in order to win a statewide election in Virginia, which are Northern Virginia and Virginia Beach. And those are very independent areas. And it's not you're certainly not going to be touting Donald Trump in those areas these days. Um, so it's a very unique situation. But um, I will tell you, to your point about the Democrats, what I'm seeing and what I'm sensing, and it'll be really interesting to see on the exit polling after today, is that you have uh, folks that uh, Democrats that um, uh, there's, they're apathetic, they're 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 still in shock from last uh, from the presidential election, and that their eye is really more on 2020 and getting a uh, a Democrat president back in the White House, and that they don't really think uh, a vote right now um, is going to make a difference. Um, is going to is going to you know create a wedge into the the power that the Republicans hold in in D.C. and 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 what this president is doing. So it, it really is fascinating to see this. Uh, this kind of uh, not just lack of unity, but really lack of motivation. Yeah, uh, I, I, I am shocked by it on the Democratic side. But the voters, though, I, 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 I'm really surprised that the voters don't see the candidate like Ed Gillespie say one thing to rural America and say the other thing to urban America. I, I mean, it's the, the 21st century. You can you can certainly find out what the candidate's saying across town. I'm surprised that's not hurting him more. Well, I, I think that, and I, you know, I say this with all, I, I always have to be caution here, or be careful, because I, I, I say this with all due respect to the American people, right. but, I'm, but I'm just being, and I don't mean to be cynical, but I, I'm trying to be more realistic, that the American voter is not a research voter, is not necessarily a super educated voter. Now, there are many who are, particularly in Northern Virginia, that read the Washington Post or read or that are work in politics or, or work for government, and they, they're a lot more aware of it. But frankly, there's a lot of voters out there that just only care about one thing or, or just are, are hear what they want to hear and um, they, or just like someone because they, they you know, they, uh, they think there's going to be the type of change that they want. So I, I think we have to be careful sometimes of giving some of these voters around the country too much credit. Uh, again, I say that with all due respect to the American voter, but I just think it's a reality these days. And, um, you know, that's why I think Gillespie can kind of get away with that. But I can tell you, too, on the Gillespie side, there are a lot of pro-Trump uh, Republicans in Virginia that are not happy about the fact that he very obviously and intentionally uh, kept Donald Trump out of Virginia during this election. Mm, interesting. So at least it is getting some backlash. With the recent polls, uh, Trey Harden, explain this to me. Is Donald Trump at a new low or is his base holding? Sounds like both. <laughs> well, yeah, I, it's a, it, again, I think this is uncharted territory for us, but I think what I see in it is that his, he, he's got, he, he, we've always known that he has this core base, okay, um, that, that he can, no matter what comes out of his mouth, no matter what he does, he, he's never going to be able to do any wrong with. Um, but what we've seen get chiseled away at has been, what what I still refer to as the ghost vote, the one that was hard to pull last, uh, you know, last November, last uh, September, uh, you know, in, in, in October right. before the election that that all of a sudden turned out for him. And that those were people that maybe weren't admitting that they were going to vote for him, but showed up and voted for him. It, it, those people that um, that 
just were willing to give him a chance that now maybe are a little offended, disgusted, or, or really disappointed in how he's handled himself in the White House, I think those have kind of uh, – those, ty- those voters have uh, maybe fallen off a little bit from his support. So – I think he's always going to have that base, but to his, you know, we've talked about this before, McGraw, it's not, certainly not enough for, for him to win re-election, but it seems to be a base that that is all he cares about right now, and, and frankly, they could care about the politics of of appealing to a general, you know, a bigger mass in this country, at least until it gets closer to election time. Uh, last question for you, Trey Harden, and that is this. I, I think uh, we're uh, curious to think uh, what you say about, regardless of who wins Virginia, today because I guess that's the big national sort of question Um, as much as each side will gawk about winning uh, in the grand scheme of things it is a blip on the radar is it not Absolutely. I mean, I think, first of all, you're going to see incredible, it's going to be historically and relatively very low turnout in Virginia. Uh, you certainly can't put it up there as some harbinger or uh, of what's to come or, or at least uh, or a referendum on anything. I think that it is a one-off, if, if anything, at this point, because, again, I think we're, we're really in some uncharted territory politically just because of the unique political dynamics uh, that, that this uh, president brings to the fold. So I, I don't see it as some huge thing. I mean, you certainly see both parties try to claim uh, victory right. one way or the other and that it means something. Um, but I, I just think it's uh, that's just a talking point and, and is uh, smoke and mirrors. Trey Harden, have yourself a good day.